Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how I made this Jasmine inspired set of Mickey ears. This is a really easy no sew ear tutorial and let's jump into it. Following my usual method, we're gonna be starting out with this silky teal fabric. I did pick this up from Hobby Lobby, just in their kind of silky fabric section. Uh, Walmart probably also has something like this, and I'm positive that Joanne Fabrics would also have something. Um, but using the largest ear cutting line template, which is linked down in the description box below for you guys, I'm gonna be tracing four of these onto the back side or the wrong side of the fabric. And I am using a disappearing ink marker. However, on these silky fabrics, I find that the ink does not totally disappear. So just make sure that you're not pressing down so hard that it bleeds through. Um, either way, you should be okay because we're gonna cover it. But after tracing four of these, then you'll go ahead and cut those out. After you cut all four out, then you're going to trace that exact same template onto a piece of felt, usually a coordinated color, so like a blue for teal. And then you're gonna cut all four of those out as well. So at this point, you should have four felt ears, four satin ears, and then you're also going to cut out four cardboard ears using the smallest template linked in the description box below called the foam and batting template. So just to repeat, uh, you should have four felt ears, four cardboard ears, and four of the satin ears. And next we will start assembling by putting a cardboard ear on top of a felt ear. You're going to do a line of hot glue at the top and then fold over your felt and tap it down into the hot glue. If you've never made ears before, I highly suggest starting with small sections of hot glue so that you don't feel like you're having to rush before the hot glue dries. And just slowly take your time and fold the felt over. Try not to move the ear around as you're gluing it down because obviously you want the ear to stay centered as you're working. Do not close up the bottom just yet. We're gonna do that after we add the next layer, which is the satin ear. So you're gonna repeat the same steps you did with the felt, doing a thin line of hot glue at the top usually, and then folding over your satin fabric and tapping it down into the hot glue. Uh, they do make silicone finger covers for this process. Um, they sell them at Dollar Tree in a three pack if you're like me and you burn yourself every time you're working with hot glue. Um, and then you will just repeat this all the way down the sides of the ear and then we will close up the bottom in just a moment. To close up the bottom you're going to snip the center of the excess fabric that's there and then you're going to put some hot glue and fold over one half at a time. See look there's my little finger cover I finally got smart and put it on. So I'm folding over the felt first and then I'll do another layer of hot glue and fold over that satin fabric into the hot glue as well. If you have a lot of excess fab fabric on the bottom, feel free to trim it off before doing this step. And that is half of one ear. For this particular set of ears, before moving on to making the other half, I am going to add this gold applique. Um, it really reminded me of the design of Jasmine's costume, and so I'm just hot gluing this down to the inside of one half of the ear. And then I'm going to measure out and make sure that I have enough cut off the excess and then hot glue down the other side as well. This will give you a more finished look as opposed to wrapping the applique around a finished ear because it will look like you just glued it on as opposed to this looking like it's a part of the same fabric. So then I'm going to repeat this step and create another half, but I do need to make sure that my applique lines up. So as you can see, I've already done the steps to create the other half of the teal portion of the ear. And now I'm just making sure that that gold applique lines up on both sides so that it looks continuative when these ears are all complete. I was having some trouble lining the applique up and keeping it in its spot, so I did pull out that disappearing ink marker again, and I just marked the start and the finish of the applique. And then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just add some hot glue to the inside of the ear where the cardboard is and attach the applique there. By the way, I keep saying gold applique. It's just like a gold fancy lace. I did pick this up from Joann's, but they have it on a bolt and you have to go get it cut, but it's in the same spot that they keep all of their ribbon and trim. Thank you. 
Once you have that done, then you can attach the two halves together. So I'm just applying a pretty good amount of hot glue, focusing it more toward the center of the ear where the cardboard is. And then I will attach the other half of the ear and firmly press it down. Make sure that you allow time for the glue to fully dry and really press down firmly so that it gets a good adherence. I decided on the front of the ear, I thought it would look really pretty if I pinched the applique together and then added a jewel. So this part was a little bit tricky. I maybe should have done this first, but you live and you learn. Um, so I am just pinching it together and just holding it in place, allowing that glue to dry fully. I did have to put a good amount of glue, but the jewel that I'm using will cover up any mess that I created. I will have these jewels linked in my Amazon storefront, but just so you know, they come in an assortment, so there's no guarantee that you're going to get two blue ones like you're wanting. Um, it's kind of a hope for the best luck situation. I ended up with five of them, so I think you'll probably be okay. Originally, I did just hot glue this jewel on, but I was really nervous that that wouldn't be strong enough to hold it over time. So I also ended up adding some E6000 to it along with the hot glue just to make sure that it had a really permanent hold on these ears. Just to be safe, I decided to reinforce the applique with some hot glue in the center. So I am just lifting it up a tiny bit and adding a dot of hot glue at the center points because the jewel is kind of pulling on it. And I don't know, it, these were for my daughter and I just wanted to make sure that they would stand the test of time. Here is a close up of what they look like so far. And after this, I'm gonna repeat these steps to make the second ear. Next, we're gonna add some trim along the rim of the ear. So by doing this, you're just gonna cover up that little crease between the two halves that you already smushed together. To attach it, I'm just doing thin lines of hot glue and then stretching the trim over it and tapping it down gently with my finger as I go. This gold trim is from Hobby Lobby if you guys are wanting this exact one. Um, they also have it in silver if you're looking. But just bringing hot glue all the way around the ear, I'm gonna stretch the final bit of trim, tap it down with my finger, and then cut off the excess. You can also burn the edges of your trim if it's fraying too much. A lot of the time that will seal it and stop it from fraying. Next, getting to the bow, I'm gonna be using this gold glitter vinyl sheet. I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. It is in their ribbon and trim section. I'm gonna be cutting this down to a rectangle that's about five inches by three inches. I'm using a ruler as a straight edge and then I do not know what this little wheel thing is called, but it comes in little cheap sewing kits and you just roll it along your straight edge and it creates an imprinted very thin dotted line, which is a nice tracing line for you to be able to cut. Um, obviously you can just do this with a marker, but I like this little tool. Um, after you've traced out your rectangle, then I'm just gonna be using this small rotary blade. You can pick these up at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or even Dollar Tree, um, but also you can just use scissors. Then I'm going to accordion fold this into a bow shape, and I'm gonna put dots of hot glue on the inside of the folds. That's not going to permanently hold it, but it will hold it long enough for you to glue the center wrap around it. Now normally I use the same material of vinyl to wrap around the center, but lately I've been having trouble with the bows popping back open even over time. So instead I'm gonna be using this gold trim that I had on hand. You could even use the gold trim that we used on the edging of the ears. Before we do the center part, you're gonna see me put some dots of hot glue into those folds like I said earlier, and then I'll be using this little clip from Dollar Tree. These come in a pack of six, and I'm just gonna use that to secure it in place for a moment to let that hot glue dry. Again, this just kind of holds it and allows it to be easier for you to wrap the ribbon around the center. Then using a dot of hot glue, I will attach the ribbon, wrap it all the way around, and then cut off the excess before gluing down the other end. Sorry, I burned my finger here with hot glue, so I got a little, got a little frustrated. <laughs> Um, then using that same clip, I'm gonna hold it in place and just let it sit for a while. Um, now we're gonna go to attaching it to the headband and I'm so sorry you guys, I don't have the footage of me attaching the actual Jasmine ears. So I'm gonna show you how I did it on this set of Mary Poppins ears that I made. It's the exact same method. Um, but using my ear spacing template, which I have linked down below for you guys, this is how I get good spacing between my ears every time. I just lay down the headband, lay down the ears, and then make sure that I have them where they're supposed to go before gluing them down. You can obviously mark it with a marker on the headband if you're nervous about it, um, or you can also measure the distance between the two ears. It's about two and a half inches or just shy of two and a half inches. And then for the bow, you're just gonna apply some glue and firmly hold that down onto the headband and allow it to dry, and everything should be attached. 
The last detail of these jasmine ears is that I picked up this little button from Joann's. It came in a whole pack of Aladdin style buttons that matched. There was like Genie, Aladdin, Jasmine, um, and I thought she was really cute glued in the center there for my daughter. And that's it. You have a beautiful set of jasmine ears. You didn't have to sew any of it. And I think that these came out really, really pretty. When we met Jasmine in Disney World, she was in love with these. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below for future ear tutorials that you'd like to see, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.